Find Hard crew. We brought out all the builds, cleaned them up, and today we wanna to talk about some of the common questions we have with them and basically what we're gonna do in the future with them and show you guys the property, the rally track, where the tree houses are in relation to everything. Just kind of give you guys a lay of the land and an update on what's going on. Yeah, probably my current favorite build is the murder scooter, as I refer to it. Uh, I mean, most of you have probably seen it. It's a Yamaha Phaser 485cc two-cylinder two-stroke with a custom tube steel trellis frame and uh, motorcycle suspension. And yes, it is getting a snow bike kit this winter. Gonna make this into the coolest snow scooter there ever was. Um, and hopefully we don't die because it's gonna be stupid fast once yeah. it runs right. <laughs> it will have a platform to stand on so you don't stick your foot through and get it ripped off. Um, and a better gas tank, that one's just temporary. It'll even have headlights and taillights and a fender in the back so that it doesn't get too much dirt in the air filters or all over the engine or up the exhaust or you know all of that. Next up, we got the Barbie car. As you guys know, we blew up the turbo, so it's currently in A. And we got these new wheels and tires from BMI Carts, so it's running a lot smoother. But last time we tried to do a new speed test with everything running right, um, Ethan just dumped the clutch and it instantly died. Yeah, so it currently doesn't have spark and I haven't had time to mess with it at all. Uh, I'm sure it's probably something fairly simple, so um, we'll get back to that eventually, but lately I've been spending all my time on something secret and exciting over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's been, that's gonna be most of October right there, guys. It's gonna be insane, so yep. look forward to that. But as far as for the future with the Barbie car, we're not sure if we should just start building the next one. We don't know if we want to do something more to it or just kind of make it run good, keep it cool, and just start with the next one. We got BMW squad over here. Um, nothing's really changed with my drift car since the last video. Um, everything is the same, but as far as my plans for the future go, I'm going to fill in all the trunk holes from whatever spoiler was on it before, do a body work, and probably this winter, wide body kit it and wrap it. So that'll probably all be in one episode of a ton of ton of work, but I'm not gonna be able to drive it in the winter, so might as well it's gonna be super sick and then this is the 2002 e46 m3 that we bought and we just bought this it didn't start didn't run we were pretty sure it'd be pretty easy to fix it was just a fuel pump we replaced it and we're gonna sell it to fund our other builds but because it is so nice and so fast <laughs> it's super cool but there's nothing we could do to it that would be interesting enough for a video that wouldn't also cost like five grand in parts yeah because everything <laughs> that you can do that's cool like what are you going to do to an m3 it's already cool it's already fast what are you going to supercharge it yeah okay but that's like you know five grand or whatever so yeah. um it'd be better off to just sell it and do cooler things in the future we'd love to do an m3 build but we don't have the money for it right now. So this is gonna fund our projects this winter. That's, that's the goal. And then we have the Ute. Yup, the BMW Ute. Probably the uh, most ridiculous car build we have. We built it in what, like basically a week and a half or something like that for the Gambler. Drove it all the way to Oregon and back and it ran fine the whole time. I got these wheels because these Aza wheels were actually borrowing from 
Ethan's friend Aza. <laughs> yeah. So I got these 17s on eBay. They're Type 42s, and they're awesome and super messed up lip. They need to be refinished and repainted or something. So I thought that'd be a really cool project for the channel, restoring some really cool classic wheels, um, which they do look pretty good on this thing. But if we went full off-road with it, I'd like to get rally wheels. But we could really go two directions with it. We could clean it up, make it look really nice, slam it and make an awesome drift car, or we could lift it, put rally wheels on it and destroy it more. So let us know what you guys yeah. think about that. I'm down for both. <laughs> yep, it could go either way. <laughs> it could really go either way. And then obviously the uh, windshield is totally smashed from drifting behind the Tacoma. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I'll uh, put that link in the description for you guys. My baby. <laughs> yeah. Wesley the Westie. Um, 1991 Volkswagen Vanagon Westphalia camper synchro. I mean, four wheel drive. It's got a diff lock in the rear. Um, it's super awesome for camping and super awesome for mild, well, mild to moderate off-roading. It, it gets rowdy. It gets rowdy, but I care about it more than anything else in my life, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to thrash it. That being said, I've kind of accidentally caught air in it, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> um, plans for this, I mean, it's a long-term high-budget build because everything I want to do to it is expensive or time-consuming. Um, probably the first thing we'll do is custom bumpers front and rear with a spare tire carrier in the back because it already has bigger tires than stock and they don't fit in the um, spare tire carrier that it has. Lift, better suspension, not a big lift, just, you know, a couple inches, get some more ground clearance and room for bigger tires. Um, some Fox racing suspension uh, and ultimately a diesel swap. Um, I could go two ways with that. One way would be the TDI, two liter TDI from a Volkswagen. Um, another option would be the two liter boxer, uh, four cylinder diesel engine that Subaru makes. They don't sell it in this country, but there's people that import them. Um, I'd really like to go that route just cause it's really cool. And then, um, and it's the same layout as the original engine. And I like Subaru. Also, there's a company called Subaru gears that makes, uh, a conversion kit for a Subaru transmission to put it in one of these. And the upside of that is it's more reliable. There's a lot of different options, a lot of ways we could go, but for now, we're gonna take it to Moab next week and rally it with the Tacoma and do some rock climbing and have a rowdy old time. This is the party bus. This is the bus that Em and I are turning into a RV, basically. And we got the siding done, the bed done. Um, once we get the trim done, we're gonna release an episode on that going to be really cool and besides that insulation and curtains and stuff that's probably all we're going to do before winter because we have a lot of stuff to work on <laughs> and three on the rally course is right up here right in front of the tree house and then the garage is obviously there behind my truck so then the 360 tree house is back there in the trees so where tree houses go where tree houses go <laughs> and then um Here's the sand pit, kind of right on the outside of turn number three, which is where a lot of the Tacoma slow motion hill climbing shots have been taken. And then here's turn number four, which is our favorite way to destroy Ethan's driveway. Yep. This is the drift corner. And then there's the hardest turn for the course. It's right around this tree, it's really tight. Turn five, I guess. I worked on it though the other day with the skid steer. It should be a little easier now. I mean, I was just smoothing out the driveway because we destroyed it, but I also smoothed out that hill a little bit and then smoothed out that pit on the other side. So now you can cut a little wider to start and then not have as much of a crater to go through at the end. There's also a sawmill here. So um, both of the tree houses, every single board in, all, in both the tree houses was milled right here on this sawmill. And almost every board in the party bus too. Yep and most of the boards in my house too. Which this hill is a lot steeper than it always shows up in camera. It's like, 
it's pretty steep. <laughs> at least when Ethan's driving, he's regularly airborne from here to at least where these trenches start down here. Yep. Which the holes are getting pretty deep here. You know what this is? Oh, that's the block that stops the leaf springs on the Tacoma yep. from hitting the frame. It's the bump stop on the Tacoma. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> so really, oh, here's the engine mount for the uh, scooter. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Plus that. Awesome. That's, that's good. Because this part right here is really the, the bad part. So you just came down this big hill. You've gone through this bumpy part, and then you have to go down here. This is my favorite part of the track right here is going go up away. this yeah. really smooth road. At one point in time, that's why this section of the rally track is so smooth, this was the main road to get to all of the houses up here. So this is turn number two, and it's really fun coming out of it, really scary going into it if you're going backwards. Yeah. This is the scrap pile, which we just added a lot to our scrap pile from one of Ethan's neighbors that has to move out, so he's like, come get some scrap steel. There's one of the parts snowmobiles. We'll steal some more parts off that to make a snow bike kit for the scooter <laughs> this winter. She just gets less and less of a snowmobile every day. So that is the property and our plans for the future. Comment below what you guys want to see more of. These next couple months are going to be really crazy, especially with the Tacoma. It's going to be awesome.